Dance is everything that I do all day long. When I'm in the shower, it's when I'm in the car. I think of dance throughout my whole life. What I really love to do is to teach. I didn't have that as a kid. I, I learned off of you know the rest of the street dancers, whatever I was seeing in the street at the time. Hi, I'm Tabitha Dumo. And I'm Napoleon Dumo. Otherwise known as Nappy Tabs. My history with dance is, you know, as a little girl, my mom threw me in every single lesson possible, and it was dance that I gravitated towards. I didn't dance growing up. I did everything else but dance, but I danced around the house a lot. And then in the mid 80s, the whole break dance thing came in. In the early, early 80s, that's where I started dancing and became a street dancer. And when I got into college, I was on the dance team there in college as well, but still never really thought of it as a career choice. I always did it because it was my passion. She was starting to do dance classes, and I went to one of her dance classes with her. I was like, that, that's not hip hop. You don't know anything about hip hop. Let and me show you this. He started popping, and he started doing his b boy tricks, and I was like, oh. Oh, I was very impressed. <laughs> right away, we kind of meshed styles, and we started teaching together. We always took classes together, and then we started choreographing together. 20 years later, here we are with the career that we have, and we feel so blessed. You know, the first year So You Think You Dance was on, I said, what? Nobody's going to watch this thing. This is a summer show. Who's going to want to watch this? Now it's on its 12th season. I mean, who would have known? Our creative process for that is, first of all, music. Without a song cleared, we can't do a single thing. And but once you get past that and you know what you're working with, the song speaks to you, at least to us, because the musicality will say something, the lyrics tell you one thing, and you, I, I, we start to, I start to visualize a story in my mind. Once we have the music, the narrative, and everything we need prior to making steps, then we go into making steps. She's amazing. <laughs> so I pretty much just direct her in what I want to do. <laughs> but, but it's really great because I feel like I couldn't do it without him. I need his reassurance. He'll go, no, 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 I'm looking for this, or she's got to feel this way while she touches, or, you know, and so the two of us together really is where the magic comes into play. We have assistants that will sculpt something on, and I think when we took ourselves out of the equation, I think we started making smarter choices. So now I can do little phrases of movement and then step out and go, okay, let me watch you do it. No, 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 put your arm up here, touch his face, blah, blah, blah. He works that room and he gets them feeling like they, you know, they can climb a mountain by the time they're done. I think being a married couple and being a team at what we do, we're so lucky. There's no egos. This is, you know what I mean, we want the best for the project. We don't always agree, which is kind of good sometimes because he challenges me to think a different way. We trust each other so much that we go, oh, if, some, if they don't like it for some reason, then there's got to be something that I'm not seeing or vice versa. I feel like we arrive at something that's the best of both. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's key. It, it's the key to everything we do.